Hey investigators, Jonathan here at Night Knowledge. Welcome to my series of Arkham Horror Mother's Embrace. In the last episode, we found the remains of Professor Tillingast, an astronomy professor apparently murdered by some cultists. Let's see where we end up this time. Okay, so we have Jim Culver, if you remember, the musician. He, is, he can increase the group's members' mental resistance. He has high mental resistance. He has the skill of manual, and those are his stats. Those are the bad things that happen if we fail enough. We also have Roland Banks, the Fed. And let's see, he has lower mental resistance. Roland has more chance of dealing a critical hit in combat, has logical, and uh, those are his stats. Okay, so continue, continue. Are you sure you want to use these investigators? No, can I switch up? How do I switch? Can I back up? I want to see. Your search of my outfit. Okay, it doesn't look like I can switch anyone out right now. Sure, sure. <coughs> so this is our office chest. Yes, we do want to bring uh, gear with us. There, there we go. Move. The way the inventory management is a little bit weird. Uh, I, I I have to admit. Uh, people were complaining about it. I, I get it. It's 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 not the it's not the easiest. Oh hey, you have a gun with no ammo? Oh wait, you do. Okay. <coughs> Switch. Launch. We only have two bullets though. Okay. Are you sure you want to continue the investigation with the current group? Uh, no. Can I get a new person? I don't think I can get a new person. Okay. Let's launch. Welcome to Miskatonic University, home of the prestigious Orn Library, which includes the country's largest collection of occult books. I once studied here as a student, later donning the mantle of professor and passing along all I learned to the next generation of astronomy students. This place was like a second home to me. Perhaps the things I left behind will provide you with clues to the answers you seek. Science and astrophysics sounds like a lot of math. I'd rather do my counting bar to bar. <laughs> oh, it has changed over the years. But no place feels more like home to me. Not even my little house. The secretary said Professor Norman Withers could give us access to Professor Tillingus's office. But what do we expect to find? We won't know until we look. All right, let's brace this Withers character and find out what's what. Okay, the overlay is available in both exploration and combat by pressing t tab or by clicking the icon representing the three investigators on the bottom left of the screen. Okay, sure. Okay. So what's this? Staircases. These staircases lead to the observatory, but we have nothing to do there now. Okay, cool. So this is Dr. Tyler William. This is Henry Wallace. Let's take a look at this. A file. A manila file folder. Looking inside, you spot what might be something useful. You have found an epinephrine. Okay, revive 50% health. Not bad. I will take it. And we'll move it uh, here, I guess. You get it. Now we're going to close. Oopsies. Didn't mean to click on that. I press shift when spacebar is what moves you faster. A notebook. A note left on a bench. A student list sits on catches your eyes. It reads, I can't stop thinking about that queer old book with his strange writing. Even holding it in my hands seemed to drain my strength, as if it were some sort of vampire sucking away my energy. When Professor Tillingas caught me with it, she confiscated it at once. I haven't seen it since. Okay, so there's some sort of book that will drain your energy. Okay, okay, okay. Oh. Here's Tillingas' office on the left, Withers to the right. They must have known each other pretty well. Professor Tillinger's door is locked. But of course, my friend. Academics are no less prone to snooping around each other's secrets. 
Some have even been known to steal a colleague's research and present it as their own. Hmm. We'd better ask Withers for the key. Okay. Let's see. Let's take a look at this thing since we have the option to. This goes to back to administration. We already have the information we need. Okay. That's not a door, though. I oh. see no, Agatha. You will pardon me for saying I have never believed your methods to be the least bit scientific. I refuse to believe that Wilhelmina would have... Oh, they're talking about me. Norman and I were colleagues for years. So naturally, we addressed each other by our Christian names. You, of course, <laughs> may call me Professor Tillingust. Yes, what is it? How can I help you? Pardon the intrusion, Professor Withers. We're investigating Professor Tillingist's death, and we... Not again. Can't an old man mourn his friend in peace? Oh, these constant intrusions by reporters and police and garden variety busybodies. As I told your friends earlier, I do not wish to be disturbed. Listen, pal. Wait just a moment, Norman. Something tells me these people aren't the same as the others. Look at their eyes. They've seen things beyond the quotidian. Oh, forgive my manners. I'm Professor Agatha Crane, and you seem to know of my colleague, Professor Norman Withers. Something tells me you've seen Wilhelmina, haven't you? Uh, that is, Professor Tillingist. Agatha, for heaven's sake, stop this nonsense! No, Professor Withers, she's right. We have seen unusual things. We arrived too late to save Professor Tillingist, but we've seen evidence that whatever happened to her was unnatural to say the least. We intend to get to the bottom of it. I told you, Norman, that box could hold more than knickknacks and jujaws. I, for one, want to see it for myself. You there, come with me. What? Where are you going, you, you, you confounded parapsychologist? To the observatory. Wait here, Norman. I know you won't want to be disturbed further. Okay, so we got Agatha Crane on our team now. Let's take a look at her. She's a parapsychologist. Uh, Professor Agatha Crane made her reputation in mathematics and psychology, two fields that I would never have expected someone to combine. Okay, surprising us even more, she turned those studies to the ultra fields of parapsychology and the occult. Some of the others might smile at her behind their hands, but I find her stories and speculations highly entertaining, even if they are no more than a bunch of balderdash. So she has high mental resistance too. On alert, Agatha increases the group members initi initiative in combat. Okay, that's good. She has the investigation skills of willpower and social. So now we got uh, four of the six, which is great. We just lack physical and search, which is okay. Her initiative is strong, but her combat skills aren't the, the best. Okay, that is great. So we'll close that. Let's uh, snoop around since we're here. Professor Norman Withers stands before you, puffing his cheeks impatiently. I know you wish to search the observatory. For the life of me, I can't imagine what you expect to find there. Okay. And now let's just take a look right here, since we're here. File cabinet. The file cabinet is open. Inside you find something interesting. Yeah, heck yeah, we're going to take those bullets. Totally, totally will need it. Oh yeah. Okay, there we go. Let's get the heck out. Okay. Oh, don't we have the key? Or the door. Engraved in brass on a plaque beside the door is the name Profes Professor Wilhelmina Tillingast. Trying the knob, you find the doors locked. Okay, so we can't do anything still yet. Okay, let's move. Hey, did we see that last time? I don't think we saw that. A trophy shelf. A shelf full of trophies, all inscribed for the Miskatonic Astronomy Club. You wonder what sort of astronomy event results in a trophy. Me too. Okay, let's go up. Oh, hey, did we see this last time? A billboard. The bulletin board includes a map of the first floor of the Science and Astronomy Building, complete with a big red, you are here. So we're right here. Those are the offices. Some sort of, some sort of buildings right here and something here. Okay. Let's see the doors. Do I see doors over there? Okay. Well, let's go to the astronomy. Right, bad guys here. Ah, the old observatory. 
Don't be fooled by its antiquated fixtures, my friends. Of course, the new Gerald Warren Astronomical Observatory is a technological marvel, but I shall always remember this one more fondly. Through these telescopes, I first gazed with wonder at the stars and the vast voids between them. Okay, so let's take a look at our room. Okay. Well, let's take a look at the telescope. Once the pride of the Miskatonic University Astronomy Department, this outdated telescope hasn't seen much use in recent years. Okay. Let's take a look at this desk over here. Desk. So much clutter fills this desk, it might take a while to find a needle in this proverbial haystack. You decide to open the top drawer, you should be so lucky. So this is a book of restrain, an eldritch phrase that binds the target limbs, slowing movement. Durability is new, it costs three action points, it slows down their combat movement, and a wild cast chance, what, who knows what that means. So let's move it over to our inventory, I'll give it to her, her movie since she doesn't really have a weapon. Okay, we'll close that. Oh. Could it be? Yes, these glyphs indicate gestures of power, of magic. This, my friends, is a grimoire, a book of spells. What it is doing at the university, I cannot say, but we mustn't let this opportunity go to waste. We must see whether these spells work. Okay. So, bookcase. Okay, solid steel pipe. Let me see. Um, this knife does six to seven damage. Wow, this one does more. So we are gonna move that over. Move, please, over here. We're gonna move over here. And we're going to equip. There we go. You are going to equip. You are going to equip. I don't know why we have to equip. That's, that's kind of a weird, weird thing. Okay, and let's investigate the lockers. After locating the locker labeled Professor, Professor Withers, you find it locked. So, let's see. I can have this lock picked before you can say boo, thanks to him. So let's lock pick that. After applying a little elbow grease and opening the locker, you find a box inside. Written in neat letters on a label is the name Professor Tillingast. We found her box. Okay, item found. Here is the mysterious box. The label marks it as belonging to Professor Tillingist. What are these strange things inside? This symbol. It was in Professor Tillingist's room. You've seen this symbol in Wilhelmina's room, haven't you? It is similar to the iconography of ancient pagan rituals. Here is proof that Wilhelmina's research went beyond known science and into the realm of the paranormal. Many of our colleagues questioned Agatha's unorthodox avenues of research, but none questioned her resolve. Once she sets her mind to a goal, nothing can stop her. We must show this to Norman. Only then will he help us. Okay, I don't think there's anything else to investigate in this room, so let's leave. Let's take a look. Let's run a little bit. Oh, here he is. I'm gonna, oh. Look here, Norman. See the odd things in this box of Wilhelmina's? Whatever she was researching, it was far more than that comet. I don't see what this has to do with her death. We saw a sign identical to the one on this box in the room where Professor Tillingus was killed. I must admit that seems far too unlikely to be mere coincidence. Very well. You have my attention and my help. Wilhelmina left Arkham earlier this year, and I received this box. After hearing no word from her, I became concerned, and I, I confess, I briefly searched her office for some indication of the purpose of her travel. Oh, Norman, you dear fool. I was only gone a week. Why did you worry so? Unfortunately, I couldn't make sense of her notes. They made no sense to me. I did sense a whiff of the occult about them, which I admit made me uneasy. One horn's never as good as a whole band. 
We should play this tune together until we find out what's at the end. You're right, of course. Yeah, take the key to Wilhelmina's office. While you have a look in there, I'll pour over these notes again. What was that sound? It came from next door. My office? Who's in there? Okay, uh, I guess let's quickly look at this. A small telescope pointed out a window. Peering through it, you must look away from the bright light of the sun. No doubt the view's better at night. Yeah, obviously. Okay, let's, let's go. Combat time, guys. The door has been unlocked. Okay. Oh, someone's been inside. Oh, oh, people are running. Okay. What was that commotion? There's nobody here. Someone beat us to it. The room's been searched, and recently. Just look at this mess. Someone has ransacked my office. Look there. Even the safe is broken open. Now they're on the lam. We gotta nab them before they get off campus. Whoever it is must be dangerous. You must protect the students. Okay. Uh, let's take a look at the stuff that we can investigate first. A safe. The safe in Professor Tillengast's office has been forced open, presumably by the same culprit who ransacked the place. There's nothing left inside the safe. Okay, there's something here. Notebooks. A series of notes written in Professor Tillengast's distinctive hand. They appear to be nothing more than observations on her students, which she apparently liked to pair off like a matchmaker. While amusing, the notes don't appear useful to your investigation. You feel at peace, so we gain some sanity. Okay, good, good, good. And as you can see, we still have slots for two bad things. A bookcase. You find a book by the notorious occultist Alistair Crowley entitled A Treatise on Astrology. And there's nothing else in this room. Oh, nope. You see Edward Hopper's painting, House by the Railroad. Its stark vertical and horizontal lines, as well as its striking color palette, seems unsettling in this context. Okay, let's go out. Oh, by their more clothes, cultists. <laughs> these are the same people who are in the professor's house. They're the ones who looted her office. Stop them. Who are these interlopers? Deal with them while the others escape. Okay, so two enemies. And we got better initiative, probably thanks to, uh, what's her name? So, uh, let's see. So he's our melee guy. We are going to move. There we go. He's in range now. Confirm position. And now we're going to use this. And this guy. Come on. I don't understand. What's, what's, what's wrong with this? He? Nope. Why won't it work? Is it because I'm not close enough again? I have no idea, guys. Oh, it oh because it because it requires four action points. I didn't read that. Oh, that's bad. Okay. Well, I guess we're just punching this guy then. Attacks on me for a little bit of damage. Okay, not good. Can I get you to shoot, please? Uh, not that guy. Why don't you shoot this guy, please? 12 damage. Okay, good. He has very little health. And uh, let's... Can I do Overwatch, too? Um... Oh, okay. Overwatch. Cool. And I'll have you move. There we go. Confirm position. And we are going to use the knife. I'm not understanding this. Yeah, that's what I want. Do you not have... Oh, he, she doesn't have any action points left either. What a waste. No. Ah, combat's weird in this game. I don't like it. Oh. 
So they get to move and attack, not me though. Okay, so we better hurry up, guys. Okay, so now he can use this. And uh, this guy has no health left. You know what? Oh. Oh, can you attack this guy instead, please? Attack this enemy, yes, please. Oh, that was enough. He's dead. Good job. Never pick a fight with a trumpet player. And he has no more. So let's move him out of the way. There, confirm position. Okay. So he can't do anything else. His turn is done. Okay, him. Uh, let us shoot again. Gotta heal up that guy. That scream is coming from down the corridor. Oh no, the students! Must be one of those weird burglars. Let's go! Oh, something happened. Our... There was a mental check, apparently. Let's take a look at our inventory. Help. Here. Can this guy use... Use it on yourself. Go. Okay. Okay. Well, uh, this is where we're supposed to go, right? Uh-oh. Uh, let's see. Where do you think... Actually, you know what? Remember, it, it, if there's an enemy, there'll be right like smoke coming here. from underneath. This was Wilhelmina's classroom. It sounds as though some students have locked themselves in. Who... Who's out there? It's me, Professor Crane. Are you all right in there? We're safe, but some strange people attacked us. We managed to barricade ourselves inside. You stay put until we've dealt with them. Did you see which way they were heading? They ran down the next corridor. Be careful, Professor, they look dangerous. After we handle those burglars, we should come back here. If this was Professor Tillingist's classroom, we might find clues inside. What we should do? Which is the weirdest thing. Oh no, that's not it. Nope, that's not it. Ugh, this interface is really needs to be improved. I have to reload my gun. You would think that a game would like reload automatically. A bulletin board filled with flyers for university activities, including an announcement for an upcoming home game for the Miskatonic Squids, over which someone has scrawled, Go Pods! Okay, well, let's go to the first room close by. Let's see what it does. This door leads to a different department in the university. You wouldn't find anything concerning Professor Tillingast here. Okay, fine. How about this room? More enemies? The plaque says it's the door to the science lab, but it's locked. Okay, fine. Okay, so uh, Roland says, emptying this first makes sense. It's not the most glamorous job, but searching this garbage bin might turn up a clue. So, thanks to Roland, we're going to empty it rather than look through. And we found some bullets. Fantastic. Oh, damn it. That's weird. Okay. I have to remember right mouse button, like, closes it. Something sticks out be between the pages of this new book. We found cigarettes, which increases our sanity. Okay. We're running out of, uh... No. Can I just move it, please? Move to there. Okay. Okay. Oh. Come oh, here, more you. cultists. Help me! We must protect the students. Some fights require you to protect civilians. Make sure you protect them or use spells on them as needed. Oh, look at Help our sanity me. going down. Okay, okay. Well, uh, why don't you move? Okay. Why can't... Okay. And yeah, what does refocus do? Okay, so I'm gonna overwatch right here. So, so if they come into melee... Into melee's um, position, we'll do that. And uh, I think for Roland, he's going to move a little bit. OK, 
Okay, and we're also going to overwatch, but with a greater view. Okay, and the professor, she's just going to move forward as well. And we're going to overwatch this way. Bring it. They all got knives anyways. 12 damage. Ooh, yeah. Right? Gotcha. When a mythos clock is full, a mythos event is triggered, resulting in a penalty for the group. Fantastic. What happened? You feel the awful gaze of the great old ones on you. Despair gnaws at the remaining sanity. Increases the chance of failing your next sanity check until the next scenario. Uh oh. What's well, good? Help me! Uh oh. Sanity is getting low. Okay, so let us uh, fight this cultist. You know what? Let's just use our fists. Probably, probably better. Can we use fists, please? Not that guy. This guy. Because it looks like it's, it's, it's always guaranteed to hit. It's not like XCOM where there's a chance to hit. So I'll save the. Because there's also durability on weapons too. Let's see, what is that? Bandages? Nah, we don't need to bandage. Let's see what refocus does. Move up one position on... on. Oh, sure. That's interesting. I should have probably overwatched, though. Uh, let's shoot again. Uh, let's shoot this guy. Okay, good. And... Um, I think I'm going to overwatch again. I, I, I don't know how that's going to work. And then you will knife this guy. How much health does he have? Three health. Let's actually just use the punch. Oh no. Yeah. yeah. Come on. Punch. And uh, let's see. Let's move closer, I guess. And you can't do anything. So, end your turn. Oh no. He's stunned. Okay, whatever. Okay, so let's use now the pipe wrench. Combat's slow. It's a little not as satisfying as I'd like it to be. Okay, end turn. Yes, please. Help me! And Roland. I guess I'll have you fire. Are you all right? Thank you. I think I'll be fine. It's mostly shock. This was just a diversion. We need to catch up to the men that were in Professor Tillingist's office. Okay. Oh no. Oh no. Look at that. I think we're going to have to use the cigarettes on this guy. From the Arkham Gazette, Body Vanishes from Cemetery by Gerard White. The Arkham Gazette has learned that a body disappeared from the city cemetery earlier this morning. Police have questioned the man found on the scene, believing him to be a witness and perhaps an employee of the cemetery. More information come as the story unfolds. Okay, so that was a sanity check. And uh, let us... Oh yeah, that's really bad. Okay, let's use this. Let's uh, move to here. I said no, move, not use. Move here. Use. Huh. Okay. Oh, it does do damage to him. Uh, can we use the healing on himself? Okay, so he's fully healed. Okay. We're good. 
maybe I should move this book to him so that he can have a... Oh no, it costs four action points for him. No, yeah, three action points. Okay. And as usual, nope. Let's reload the gun. I don't know why you need to do that between, between rounds. Anyways, uh, I think we're going to end the video right here. Thank you very much for joining me today. Check out the rest of my channel for other videos on uh, Arkham Horror, Mother's Embrace, video games, board games, and other fun things. Thanks for watching. Are you hurt? I'll see you next time. No, just bruised. Some men in weird costumes knocked me down. Which way did they go? They ran right into that classroom. <laughs>